Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have made the decision to take down the Matthew Santoro video where I was reviewing and reacting to some toxic behavior and gameplay of his. And the reason I'm taking it down is because that video is a couple months old now. And as you've seen in my more recent videos about Matthew Santoro, he has changed massively. He's in a much better place now. He has a much more positive mindset and he has self-reflected and realized that that wasn't him. He was just in a bad place. And again, he's, he's just changed for the better in a lot of ways. Unfortunately, despite me making multiple videos showcasing his positive changes, despite me putting in the pinned comment and the description of the original video saying that he's changed and to please watch the newer videos, Despite all that, people are still just watching that original video and going directly to his stream to, to be hateful and rude to him. And uh, it just bums me out. It doesn't sit right with me because I know, you know that he's in a much better place now. I know that he's built a super positive community over on his Twitch and it's, it's really cool to see if you actually go over there and, and give it a chance, like it's fantastic. Not to mention in the video itself, I say multiple times, do not go out of your way to be rude or hateful to him because that does absolutely nothing. I actually say in there to do the opposite. I say, if you're gonna go to his stream, go in there and say something positive. Go in there and say, you know, be positive today, have a good day, etc. You know, say something kind because if you're feeding negativity with more negativity, that just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what what the goal is there other than just to bring somebody down who is already clearly down. You know, it's, it's one thing to call it out. It's another thing to just kick somebody when they're down, you know, and, and, and not even give them a chance to see if they've changed or not. Yes, Matthew's behavior was pretty toxic, but let's be honest. He wasn't being racist, homophobic wishing illnesses on people or telling people to kill themselves, which as you've seen in my other videos, there are a lot of streamers who, who do way worse and say way worse things than, than Matthew has, and they don't apologize for it. They end up just playing the victim and crying boohoo and then continuing to act in, in such awful ways. And so for Matthew to have made such great changes and for people to not even give him a chance, it just bums me out. It doesn't sit right with me. And so I'm just going to take it down because I don't want more people going to his stream. I would rather, you know, people go in there and continue to help him build the positive community he's building over there. I'm making this video because I didn't want you guys to notice the video was gone and then speculate and be like, oh, what happened to the video? Did Matthew, did Matthew copyright strike the video? I gotta go over to his chat and, and, and call him out for copyright striking the video. No, it didn't happen. I'm taking it down because I don't think he deserves all the hate he's getting and all and all that. So hopefully you guys understand why I took the video down. I do think it's for the best, so anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day and it's December, so happy holidays.